Now mushrooms, they've got B group vitamins, they've got essential minerals, they've got fiber, they've got a wonderful flavor, and of course they're low in kilojoules. It's no wonder that four out of five Australians really love their mushrooms. Now mushrooms live in their own biological kingdom, which means they're neither a fruit nor a vegetable. And it's this fact that has intrigued health professionals and researchers around the world. To give us further insight into the health benefits of mushrooms, we asked the CSIRO to look at the published research on the power of mushrooms. They've really shown us out of all of the 11,000 pieces of publication that we've seen and uh, the 3,000 that we've reviewed, uh, have really demonstrated that mushrooms have an important role in human health. They provide uh, a broad array of nutrition uh, and it appears from a lot of human and other studies that they have a role in um, uh, the potential to reduce risk for certain sorts of cancer and also may have an impact on uh, reducing uh, cardiovascular disease and uh, a range of other factors that impact on immune function. Three recent population studies have shown that women who consume an average of one button mushroom a day have got less than half the risk of breast cancer compared to women who have no mushrooms at all. Could it be something in the mushroom? Dr. Xuan Chen believes it is. What we actually find in our laboratory then, actually mushroom contain chemicals, can actually suppress the estrogen formation. And both we so-called in vitro and vivo study, in vitro that's in the test tube been in cell line, as well in animals through feeding experiment, we can achieve that purpose. So therefore then potentially it is possible through feeding or dietary intervention, we can actually reduce the estrogen level, especially so-called postmenopausal women, that will be protective against this type of breast cancer. And on the other hand, then we also learned that then potentially uh, these chemical emulsion can also help men to reduce the effect of the androgen, the male hormone. So therefore, maybe potentially it will be very beneficial for men to fight against for prostate cancer. Researchers also examined mushrooms and their influence on the immune function. Dr. Dayong Wu is one of many researchers looking at this relationship. So in our study, we fed experimental mice different diet, including the diet containing different level of mushrooms or the control diet without mushrooms. And then we measured different parameters of immune functions. And we found that the one particular type of uh, immune cells called natural killer cells are increased in their activity in the mice fed mushroom compared with those mice without mushroom supplement. And these particular immune cells are mainly responsible for identifying and destroying the pathogen infected cells. That means this particular immune cells, they don't recognize or destroy their own cells only when these cells infected by pathogens, for example, bacteria or virus. If we can identify immune benefit for consuming mushroom, that will have a tremendous significance in the information base for functional food to improve our general health and increase the resistance to reduce the risk for infection. Dr. Keith Martin has published research that shows that mushrooms have an impact on breast cancer cells. And what we found is that by placing mushrooms, powdered mushrooms, in the diets uh, of these animals and in culturing with the cells, we actually induce the immune system. We induce TNF-alpha uh, production, and that, of course, is important in fighting cancer or cancer cells. My advice is to consume fungi, white button mushrooms, let's say, every day, a cup a day, a cup and a half a day, however you want to consume those would be beneficial and ultimately reduce the risk of chronic disease. If you ever want people to sit up and take notice, tell them how mushrooms could help them eat less and even lose weight. The effects that mushrooms have on how we perceive the taste of food, uh, it suggests that mushrooms have substances that trick the brain into thinking that you've eaten more than you actually have. And human studies have shown that if you make a food 
with mushrooms and you test it with another food that doesn't contain mushrooms and also has higher calories, that you can actually eat less as a consequence of that, but you still feel satisfied. The wonderful savoury flavour of mushrooms is called yamami. It's a Japanese term meaning flavour soup. Now this natural flavour, while tasting great, also has a health benefit. There was some evidence that um, mushrooms can help to reduce salt intake because um, the umami flavour means that it has such a, a breadth of flavour that you don't actually need salt. So that umami taste perhaps is the trigger to tricking your taste buds that you've had a lot more to eat than you actually have. In essence, if people were to include more mushrooms, they might find that they needed less salt in their diet. Having less salt in your diet means that your blood pressure can go down, it's better for your arteries, and yes, it could have quite a health impact. The mushroom also shines when it comes to antioxidant power. More specifically, it is one of the few non-animal foods that is ergothionine. Ergothionine is pretty much a newly discovered potent antioxidant found mainly in mushrooms, although it's found in some other foods as well. But uh, mushrooms are a particularly rich source. Ergothionine is taken up by red blood cells. Uh, is something very significant because it suggests then that um, the red blood cells are serving as a vehicle to deliver the antioxidants to other cells and tissues where it can protect them against oxidative stress. Our research found that either 8 grams or 16 grams of mushrooms consumed with um, about 60 grams of fat, now the typical amount that people consume with a meal, a lunch meal, uh, a dinner meal, helps to blunt that um, after meal fat response. So rather than have high fat levels in the blood, uh, the mushrooms cause lower fat levels in the blood. And many health professionals think that this is a, a big health benefit, at least as it relates to cardiovascular disease. Uh, we think that they may have a very distinct, unique effects. And so that's why people should uh, incorporate mushrooms, for example, in their diets to um, get a source of ergothionine. I recently attended an ergothionine meeting and I think all of the researchers were just blown away about all of the potential health benefits with ergothionine. And I liken this research to what we heard in the early 90s with omega-3 fatty acids. And then, you know, thereafter the research just flowed and now everybody recognizes health benefits of omega-3 fatty acids. And I think that we're at that stage 20 years ago with omega-3s, with ergothionine now. Mushrooms, unlike plant foods, can naturally make their own vitamin D. Now with one in three Australians being vitamin D deficient, this is creating a lot of interest amongst researchers. So vitamin D is a hormone that's made in your skin when you're exposed to sunlight, and you can also get it from your diet and it is very important not only for your bone health but also has a lot of other important health benefits for children for example not only does it help them have stronger bones improves muscle strength but may reduce risk of infectious diseases multiple sclerosis type 1 diabetes later in life for adults it's really important so for pregnant women it potentially reduces risk of preeclampsia one of the most serious complications of pregnancy reduces their risk of requiring a cesarean section because vitamin D is very important for muscle function, which of course is important for birthing action. We also know that it reduces risk of cancers like colon, prostate, breast, as much as 50%. Reduces risk of type 1 diabetes as well as type 2 diabetes in adults. Also, it reduces risk of infectious diseases and even heart disease and stroke. It turns out that there's essentially very few foods that naturally contain vitamin D. It's mainly oily fish like salmon, mackerel, herring, and then the only other natural source is mushrooms. And that's why we've now been studying mushrooms because it's interesting that mushrooms have a huge capacity to make vitamin D if they're exposed to ultraviolet light. You can see the mushroom has so much to offer. Wouldn't it be great if the mushroom had the potential to protect your brain? Dr. Louise Bennett has some encouraging news. 
We have uh, recently completed our, our first animal study. This, this study though looked at the vitamin D enriched form of the mushrooms and we compared their effects in either normal mice or in mice that were genetically predisposed to express symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. So we've seen several effects uh, as a result of the vitamin D uh, mushroom, uh, including benefits on memory, and we've seen effects also on uh, benefits in the lowering the deposition of plaque in the brain. We saw similar uh, be benefits to memory in the wild type mice, so these are the normal mice. So this has led us to, to be interested to progress our research into human studies, focusing really now on uh, cognition in, in healthy people, but in aged people where, where memory does decline uh, with age. It is surprising that, that a, a food like mushrooms sh should uh, embody such a, a useful package of, of healthy components uh, of relevance to cognition. So this, this is exciting for us and we hope that our research uh, will prove the, use, the efficacy and the usefulness of mushrooms for uh, protecting people against dementia. Well today we've learned a lot about the health benefits of the mushroom and there's no doubt in my mind that in the future we will learn even more. The research about mushrooms is very exciting. What we found today is really exciting. There's ongoing research that's forthcoming and there's great potential about future research with mushrooms and health benefits. I, I do eat mushrooms, I love mushrooms, and I think since this, I've been doing this research, I have grown in my consumption of mushrooms, as has my family. From nutrition to flavour, from heart health to potentially lower risk of cancer, from vitamin D to ergothionine, you can see that the mushroom has got a lot to offer. And whether you're a vegetarian or a meat eater or a flexitarian who enjoys both styles of eating, the mushroom is excellent for your health.